finally got ice. It took forever. We've been blowing on the ice. And uh, we ran out Sunday afternoon. Found... Uh, we didn't find a very stiff bite, but we found a bite and we found some perch. Look at these. Some of these are quite dandy. Uh, so I just got a couple clips because it was really cold out there. We were in the shanty. Got a couple clips of how we caught them. And I uh, checked those out and then I'll show you uh, here some of the fine tuning of what we were doing. Oh, he's chasing. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Very slow bite They're out here. Not biting well right now. But, but you do that's how sometimes. you do it. Ooh, nice perch. Too. Nice perch. That guy. Fire uh, tiger tungsten. Tiny little oh, guy. You got that little piece of microplastic. Yeah. Very nice. So it's the first day on Lake George and we're doing something. Alright, we got. Fish on the screen, moving slowly, and a rod tip being watched carefully. See how it's raising, and not fast, but raising. The hope is to pull those hesitant fish up out of their comfort zone and force kind of a. Oh, dear. Can you get this one for me? <laughs> Shoot. Uh, so, at the same time, while we were wasting our time looking at that, I got a sideshow of the minnow. Might be uh, a nice sound sick. Yeah. I got a sideshow of the minnow and a bobber. Just off to the side to see if one that doesn't like tungsten, oh yeah, actually likes a minnow. That's and nice. that's not really killing them. We're getting a few. That's me. Oh. Uh, but but it's working. <laughs> More soon. <sighs> okay. Thanks for watching those clips. So, what we were doing, and those fish were not biting. I know some good fishermen that went out earlier that day that just were not getting anything. Uh, it's not that the fish weren't there, they just weren't in a very bitey mode. So, the number one thing that was working on them was a uh, tungsten. That's a fire tiger with a little bit of a uh, plastic and one grub on the back. All those are at the website over at rogersrigs.com. We have those tungsten little tons and uh, Deadly Dozen microplastics. I think the plastic not only helps in giving a, a little extra presentation for them to bite onto, maybe something that looks a little bit more natural to what they're going after, and it's scented, it also helps reducing the, the lure spinning. If it's going crazy like this, the fish are not gonna take it. And all the flanges on those plastics kind of slow that down too. And you'll see in those videos, like Michael was, he hit bottom, and he'd bounce up, just wiggling up and down a little bit and lifting slowly. He actually caught more than the rest of us without using Vexlar, but just creating that slow bouncing lift over and over again and just focusing on that bite. The bite was crazy small today. I mean, I mean, barely a tug at all. That's a pretty light rod right there, barely hitting it. So uh, that's number one trick was the tungsten. Uh, the number two trick that was working today, and I've found this working before in places where eventually those fish have just seen so many tongues since every ding-dong jig you could drop at them. Uh, I was using what we call the sideshow. That's a fluorocarbon leader with a treble hook on it and a slip bobber. The slip bobber rides up 30 some odd feet deep there, rides up and hits the knot. Once it hits the knot, it holds that right at the same spot. And that was working pretty well. We would just play with them, play with them. You'll see that in one video. We play with them on the jig, and then eventually, especially the bigger ones, I hold that minnow a little higher. Normally, the perch were probably a foot off bottom. I was holding that minnow almost two and a half, three feet off bottom, forcing that for the bigger ones were more likely to go to that higher uh, point and take that bigger bait, and that was working. Those are the two main things. You'll check out uh, on the website, you're going to see a whole bunch of the products that uh, we use. We hand make a lot of those fly rigs and everything, and, uh, and we supply all the other items. So check that out, and also check out on the channel. We've got a lot more in-depth videos on how to jig perch in every situation we can imagine. Thank you for watching, and enjoy!